Hey everyone, it's KP. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome for those that might be new. Before I get started, I just want to kindly ask you guys to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. It kind of, like when I get new subscribers, it gives me a little bit of motivation to keep doing this. Although I would probably keep doing this anyways, because I'm enjoying YouTube. Like, I'm enjoying making videos. Like, the whole editing process is a little bit much sometimes, but I still do it anyways, whatever. And I want to get better at editing this thing, so I'm going to keep making these videos. But yeah, subscribe, please, before we even continue. I'll wait. It doesn't even take that long. You should be done by now. Okay, so let's get into the video. Today we'll be doing a how to ruin your college freshman year, but bounce back. We always, always, always bounce back, okay? What's the saying? Like, every setback calls for a major comeback, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I attend Hobart and William Smith College, upstate New York. Um, it's a pretty small school, but yeah, I just finished my freshman year. Ugh. And it was like, it was an interesting year, to say the least. Um, but I made a little list of like, things you want to do to, I don't know, the title of the video might be a little confusing. Like, when I say these, I hope you understand the tone and that I'm not telling you to do these things, but if you are, in fact, trying to ruin your freshman year, go ahead, why not? Number one, use all your snack money in the first few weeks. So, at my school, we call it snack money. I think at other schools, they call it, like, flex dollars or dining dollars, whatever. Not That's not really the same thing, I don't think. So you have your meal plan, and then, like, depending on your meal plan, you'll get a certain amount of like snack money and as a first year that's another thing like for any high schoolers that might be watching like in college you don't really say freshmen you just say first years it took some getting used to anyways I just thought I'd put that out there so your meal plan and then you as a first year at my school your meal plan like you don't get to pick what it is um, and with the snack money they give you about, I want to say, what was it, 350, 375. Like, that's not a whole lot, um, especially when it comes to food, it can go pretty fast. But when you're like new to like those late nights, you get really hungry, or even after classes, like you just want something to eat, whatever, like that money goes fast. <clears throat> and you don't realize how much you want it back until it's all gone, like say around finals or like exams, whatever, and you're in the library for like, until it literally closes. You're in the library until it closes and um, like you just are so hungry but you don't even have any more snack money. And it's like, yeah, you can use your own money too at like places like ABP, which is Obon Pay. It's like a little cafe, um, bakery, whatever. I work there. And it's just like, you can use your own money, but like the snack money is not your own money. So it's easier to spend it without feeling like you're putting like a toll on your pockets, whatever. Definitely, definitely, definitely like try to save it. Cause like when exams come, you're going to want your coffee. I don't drink coffee. I get tea. Um, and you're not going to be able to like afford it, whatever. So that's number one. Number two would be buy every book. The first day of each class is like they go over the syllabus, this, this, and that. And on the syllabus, it includes like you know, materials, like expectations. Um, it'll map out the whole semester, like week by week, what you'll be doing just so you keep up and like can organize yourself but it also includes like the materials which will be like books that you'll need for the class and I know a lot of people like will go out and pre-order all those books like you don't really need to do that I personally I probably purchased 
I only really purchase what I need. And when I say that, I mean I only purchase the books that like, so I took French. Um, for the French class I took second semester, the book, like you need the um, code for the super site. And I guess in some cases you could probably just buy the code and not have to pay for the book, but the book, like when you buy the book with the code, you're mostly paying for the code to be able to do the super site, like the online homework and stuff. So I'll buy that kind of stuff or like for econ, don't even get me started on econ. You have to pay for this um, program, which is where you do all your homework. But girl, econ is a whole nother story, okay? I was in the library crying, like a lot. People would be looking at me, like econ was so hard. And it was super depressing, cause like I went into college thinking I wanted to do business. I took econ and I was like, this is not for me. Like I went to class as much as I could. I will say like there were a few days I skipped, whatever. Um, I tried my best to do the homework every single day, uh, but sometimes I'd be caught up like doing other homework and like it's online. So after 11, like after 11 o'clock, you can't do it or like whatever you're trying to finish, it won't count. And there were a few nights, not that many, but a few nights where I'd be like doing like my French homework or something else or writing an essay. And I'm like, oh my God, it's like 10.45 and I didn't do my aplia. And it's just like, <sighs> it was rough, econ was rough. But anyways, point is like, you don't really have to buy all the books because other kids in your class will have the books. And if you make friends with people, like you can ask them, oh, can I borrow this book like for tonight? And like, if they say yes, you know, you can always take pictures, like use your phone, take pictures of all the pages. Like it's a lot of work, but it'll save you some money or you can borrow a book and scan it. Or sometimes like teachers will have like books on reserve in the library, so you don't have to buy it at all. Um, but that gets kind of difficult because there'll only be one book on reserve. And so like with a class of, I don't know, like 30 kids or something, 25, 30 kids, like somebody else is gonna have the book when you want it. Um, but you don't necessarily have to buy every single book on the syllabus day one. And if you do, like don't blow the bank and buy them all at once, like buy them as you go. Can we just take a moment to admire um, my hair situation today? I did this myself. I know like a lot of people go to hairstylists, whatever. And usually at school, like my go-to hairstyle is just slipped down in a little bun at the back. My sister, this is her hair, whatever. Uh, the hair uh, is from the Vanity Box. The Vanity Box, um, really good quality hair. Uh, she left her tracks here. She's not at home right now, but she left her tracks here. So I figured why not take advantage, whatever. But yeah, I did this ponytail myself. Clap it up for me. I did a good job if I do say so myself. Anyways. I don't know what number we're on. What did we do so far? We did. Okay, number three, take 8 AMs. Um, I don't know about you guys, but in my high school, class didn't start until 8.30. So if you had a sleep in, like some days you would class wouldn't even start till like 11.30, 12. You know, like you're, you have the whole morning to yourself. And I loved that. And so I knew wherever, wherever I went to school, like when I went to college, I do my schedule so I didn't have to do any 8 a.m.s because I don't like waking up early. But unfortunately, I did get stuck with an 8 a.m. first semester. But it was like a lab for my first year seminar. And like the lab was like cool, whatever. Like we cook food, so it was nice. We, I'm not really a breakfast person, but I would like obviously I had to show up for you know a grade and whatnot. But yeah, 8 a.m.s, like, don't do it unless, only do it if you really have to, like if it's a lab and you have no other choice. But don't put yourself through that, because, like, sleep is valuable. You'll probably end up, if you're like me, like, staying up later at night, so you're gonna wanna sleep in the morning. You know what I mean? So, 8 a.m.s, uh, to each his own, but like, I'm not with it, I'm not. Number four, um, skip class a couple times. Why not? Like, 
you know, it doesn't matter. They don't take attendance in college. Uh, that's a lie. They some people do, especially at a s small school like mine. Like teachers take attendance, bro. I'm I'm not down with it. I'm not hip to it, but whatever. And like in the syllabus, they'll have a little. They'll word it really weird. They'll be like, I don't take attendance, but if you don't show up, you won't get credit for participation for this day. And it's just like. So like what you're saying is show up, you know, and you're gonna want to show up because like you don't want to miss certain things and like me personally, I'm not that good at teaching myself stuff. So like if I don't hear it from the teacher, like it won't connect, you know, I will say like it's okay to skip class a couple times like, but that's something I'm gonna change, you know, next year. Okay, so number five, study for your exams the night before the exam. I fell victim to this like a couple times. And it was like, honestly, like it wasn't even my fault. Like, I'd just be so caught up, like doing other things, like doing homework, um, doing whatever I was doing, okay? And like, I had checked the, like, I remember the first econ exam, bro. I met this one kid, we had three out of four classes together, um, first semester. He was like, are you ready for the exam tomorrow in econ? I was like, what are you talking about? Like, what? Are <laughs> I was so confused. Cause I know like when I got the syllabus, I had um, highlighted each exam day cause I didn't want to forget and I wanted to start studying in advance. But like come day before the exam, I was, I didn't know what was going on. I totally forgot. Um, actually, I didn't even forget. I never knew. I really didn't realize it was an exam. and. In high school, all my exams were like before a break. Like in college, exams are so random. Like you'll be in the class for two weeks, you got an exam. And it's not like a test, like these are exams, bro. Like, so like be mindful. Still, this is like your best friend. Okay, so number six, Thirsty Thursdays. I don't even know what to say. Um, I know some other schools might do like Thirsty Tuesdays. I don't know how they phrase certain things, but Thirsty Thursdays, uh, it was all news to me when I got to college. I was like, what is that? Like, what, what goes on? Um, basically, like, it's when, like, you just party on a Thursday night. Go out on a Thursday night, whatever. Which, it, it's cool, maybe, like, once or twice a semester. But, like, every single weekend, every single Thursday, you should not be going out. And first semester, I probably partook in Thursday, Thursday, like, once or twice. But I had at 8 a.m. on Fridays. Like, that's when my lab was for my FSEM. It was on Friday morning. So, like, I couldn't really be going out Thursday nights if I had at 8 a.m. Friday morning, you know? Number five. Go to every party to see those alphas. Stroll. My school is not a party school. I don't think. I don't know. But, like, did I go to parties a lot? Yeah. Did I have fun? yeah um did i need to be at as many parties as i was at no i definitely could have like stayed in the crib watched netflix and i did like a lot of times i didn't go out just because like it wasn't the vibe you know i could just stay home with my friend kim <laughs> but like the out seeing the alpha stroll i always got excited because uh, that's the only like black fraternity we have on campus and we don't have sororities we have one sorority i don't even know the name but it's not divine nine so i don't want to hear about it some of them are really good at dancing like some of them really got it going on some of them like just sit this one out bro like it's not for you you know what i mean number seven get into a relationship or in my case situationship super fast when i got to college i was in like a little situationship action thing um i'm not gonna say the person's name uh i'm not even gonna explain the situation all i can say is like there were good moments there were bad moments there were really bad moments <laughs> Some of it was my fault, a lot of it was his fault, whatever. We're not getting into it. Um, but yeah, like you don't need to be in a relationship your freshman year of college. Um, you go to college to like figure yourself out and find yourself. So like 
do that, stick to that. Like, stick to making friends, um, like my shirt, it says, Gangsta Rap made me do it. My mom made fun of it just now, but I had a shirt for a while, I really like it. Uh, but yeah, like, you don't need to be in a relationship, and that's not even just your freshman year, like, you don't need to be in a relationship, you know what I mean? Like, just chill and do you. That's all I could come up with, like, when I was planning for this video. I wanted my college experience to be, like, different than anything else in my life, than prior to, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to have, like, fun in college, and I've had fun so far. I will continue to have fun. Here on out, am I gonna try harder academically? Um, of course, you know, like, everything you do in life, you wanna do it and make yourself proud, so. Yeah, I asked a lot of people, like, should I get a job when I, like, my first year? They'd be like, no, like, just feel it out. Like, just focus on, like, making friends and, um, like, your schoolwork. But I'm glad I got it when I did, because, you know, it taught me there's time for work, there's time for school, there's time for play. I don't need to figure that out later, because I already have that figured out. So, <clears throat> that's my advice. Definitely staying out of drama because, first of all, it's not good for your acne, like your skin, it's not good for your health. It's just not a good look, so what can you do? Except, you know, just stay over here, let the messy people go over there, and you and your, your aura, your beautiful aura, and your little personal bubble will stay over here, and all the ratchetness, red messy people can do what they do. I want no parts, is all I'm saying. But thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, yeah, thanks for watching. I just hope I get like some good pictures today. <laughs>